Good morning. Have you ever been to an air show and watched the Blue Angels? I mean, they're incredible. Those jets have such power and the pilots fly with such incredible precision. I mean, I find it always inspiring. I've seen them numerous times and it's, it never gets old. Well, there was a young black girl years ago who went to an air show and, and she saw the Blue Angels flying and she too was inspired. She thought she wanted to fly, but she was serious enough. She ultimately went to the U.S. Naval Academy and she graduated in 1972. But that wasn't enough. She wanted to be a Navy fighter pilot. She did not realize there had never been a black female fighter pilot in the history of the U.S. Navy. But she applied, she, she got to finally be accepted into flight school and the very first time she climbed into one of these jets and they took off and she said she was thrust back against the seat, she knew it was to be a fire pilot. That's really what she wanted to accomplish. And so she went on. She's made her application, she has gone to flight training school and a little over a month ago, Lieutenant Madeline Schwegel received her gold wings, becoming the first black female fighter pilot in the U.S. Navy history. You know, there are 1,404 pilots of the F-18 uh, Hornet pilots. Of those, only 26 are black. 33 are females. But there was none who was a black female to become that fighter pilot. That never mattered to Madeline. She was just pursuing her dream. And she made the comment, she said, you know, I hope that by me going and doing this, I simply inspire other women and other women of color to know that they have the tools and everything they need to pursue their dreams and they can do this too. It really was just about, well, just be who you feel God's called you to be. Go pursue your dreams. I love the, the quote from Reverend Ad, Rear Admiral Paula Dunn, who is Navy's Vice Chief of Information. She said, very proud of Lieutenant Schwagel. Now, go forth and kick butt. That's what she's doing. She's this cute young lady, diminutive in size, but powerful in spirit, and has her great talent, and she's out flying and doing those things. You know, the Navy has really entered a whole new time. It's the Navy who formed the Task Force One Navy. And it's to address the issues of um, racism and sexism and any other destructive biases and that keeps the impact, has an impact on naval readiness. The thought that the Navy has said, you know, we just need to make sure that we're the place where people, regardless of their race or their gender, can pursue their dreams and offer their gifts and their talents to make our Navy the very best Navy that it can be. I couldn't help but think about the Apostle Paul. He was saying the same thing. When the Apostle Paul said to the church, we are like a body, can the eye say to the hand, I have no need of you? Can the head say to the foot, I have no need of you. No, he said, we need all people with all their different gifts and their abilities and their passions and ideas. We need them all to be the body of Christ. And that's really true about not only the church, not only our country, but really it's true about our world. God's made one race and that's the human race. And everybody has something to offer. And you know, I believe we're actually getting better. I, I look at my parents' world, and I look at my world, and the world that I've been growing up in, there were greater opportunities for people of color and women. Still a lot of problem, but we've gotten better. And I'm looking at what's going on around me with people like Madeline Schwagel, and I think, we are getting better. We are knocking down barriers whether it's Supreme Court justices who are women or whether it's going to be African-American fighter pilots, we're knocking these barriers down. We are making a world where everybody can use the gifts that God has given to them 
to make this a better world. I believe for my grandchildren, it's going to be a better world yet. And you and I can do our part in helping to make that happen. We can do our part by encouraging all people to pursue their dreams. We can do our part in helping to open those doors so that all people have the opportunity to pursue their dreams. You and I can be a part of the answer rather than being a part of the problem. Go out, love your neighbor, no exception, and have a great day.